Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to be doing first person movement. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm just going to call this one FPS movement. Uh, if I can spell here, there we go. Uh, for the folder, I'm just going to do in my documents, uh, App Game Kit Studio, new folder. I'm just going to call it uh, FPS movement so I know which one it is. There we go. Uh, I'm going to click off of it and then I have to click back onto it. There we go. Create the project. There we go. So we got our project created. Now I need to um, move a grass texture into there. And this file, I am going to be posting the link in the description for it. So I'm just going to copy it and then go to my documents and paste it in there. So where's my FPS movement, media, paste. There we go. So I got my grass texture. All right. So now what we want to do is, um, first of all, because we're using first person movement, we don't want any screen tearing at all. So we're going to enable VSync. So we're going to do set VSync. Um, and we're going to set it on. All right. Now let's create a plane and give it the grass texture. All right. So we're going to say grass equals load image. And we're going to load the grass dot png and i forgot to put my quotes there we go all right now that we have the texture loaded let's actually um, create the object so we're going to say ground equals create object plane and we're going to do 128 units by 128 units and we're going to say uh, we need to rotate uh, the plane because otherwise it's going to be um, it's not going to be flat at our feet otherwise. So we're going to do um, rotate oh, object um, global x and we're going to say the ground. 90 degrees all right and from there uh, now we're going to set the object image so we're going to give the grass texture to the ground so we're going to say set object image we're going to do it to the ground we're going to give it the grass image and uh, we're not worrying about the text stage all right so if we run that now you can see we have a ground underneath us, right? Uh, we can't move yet or anything, but our grass is there. All right. So what do we want to do now? Now let's create a box for um, that's going to be our player for collisions and everything. Now you could get away without using a box for this. You could just use the camera because uh, we don't have any buildings or trees or anything to um to collide with but this is a good habit to get into so um, I'm just going to show you we do create a box um, this will be our player for collision testing all right so to do that you just say player equals um, create object box um, and now we want to give it an ID so we're going to say it's object 2 and for the width uh, we'll give it um, 6 and a height we'll give it 2 alright now we need to set the object position and the way that it works in our 3d world um, it's more like this one's going to be the height and this one's going to be the width. Um, and we're going to be 
setting the player object. Um, and now for these, um, on the y-axis, I'm going to set it to 3 since our character is um, 6 high. It's basically going to set a um, half of it is going to be on the ground. Um, so let me say like that. And then we're going to do set camera rotation. And we're going to do camera one, and we're just initially going to set it at zero all the way across the board. So now if we run that, you can see that's our player, right? Okay, so what we can do from there um, is create a variable. So I had someone uh, message me in Discord. They didn't understand um, what the hash sign was. Um, that I use in one of my videos for a variable or the dollar sign, right? So I'm just going to clear that up really quick. Um, hash equals a float. So this is the same as saying, um, uh, well, let me let me put that back. As um, or equals float and dollar sign equals string. All right, so. Let me see if I did um, speed as float, that is the same as me just going speed hash. All right, so that's basically what that does. It's declaring it as a float. So what I'm going to do is just go speed equals 0.1. Uh, and now I want to make the mouse invisible, so let me just add a comment for that. Um, make mouse invisible. Uh, it's going to be set raw mouse visible, and we're going to set it to zero. And now if we run that, you can see we can't see our mouse, and not well, at least not while it's on the the game screen here. So let me just. Uh, Close our game. And now we just want to put everything into our do loop. So in our do loop, um, first what we can do is, uh, I guess we'll take care of the, the WASD movement. So movement, and we're going to say, uh, let me put this down a couple lines. If get raw key state um, 87 equals 1, then we're going to say move object local Z. This is basically what we did in the last one with our camera, but this time we're going to be moving the player um, using its speed variable that we created and if um, if get raw key state this one's going to be 83 and this one's going to be the same on the z-axis but we're going to say negative speed this time All right, and now we'll do the x-axis. So this is going to be for strafing now. We're going to say if get raw key state, and this one is 65 equals 1, move object local x, player, and this one is also going to be uh, a negative, so this is going to be to the left. So this is the A key here. Um, and then we just in the if. And then we're going to do the last one. And this one is 68. On 
Click local X. Player. Uh, speed. And. And if. Alright. So. Once we have those. Um, since our mouse is going to be invisible. And it's going to be locked at the. Um, at the uh, center of the screen. Let's go ahead and add. Um a button to end the game so we're just going to say when you hit escape so we can say if get raw key state and this one is 27 i believe equals one we'll say end and if all right and then also we can um lock the mouse at the center of the screen so we'll just do let's see we'll we'll do um make sure mouse pointer is in the center all right so our room is 1024 by 768 so we want it to be right in the center of the screen so if i bring up a calculator here we do 1024 divided by 2 that's going to be 512 so for that we can do um, mouse x we'll do it as a float equals get get pointer x and we're going to say minus 512 and then mouse y also as a float equals get pointer y and for that one it's going to be 768 divided by 2 384 all right okay so now let's go ahead and add a calculation here that is going to calculate how much the mouse has moved for both the x and the y axis all right so uh, this one's a little more confusing than what we've done in the past. It's a lot of math, but if you were to remove them as variables and do it as just the numbers, it would probably make more sense to you. Um, so you can attempt to do that um, after we actually code everything here, but it's gonna be whoop, move, um, oh, here, let me do X move actually. Oh my god, I cannot type. Um, and then we're going to say equals x move um, plus the mouse x. And then this one's going to be y move equals y move um, plus mouse y. All right. Now let's go ahead and limit the mouse movement. And to do that, we're just gonna say if, uh, this is gonna be on the Y axis. So I'll show you how that works in the game. Y move is greater, or actually we'll say less than first, um, negative 800. And we're going to set y move to equal negative 800. And we also want to do the same uh, for when we're looking downward. So we're going to say if y move is greater than 800, y move equals 800. Okay, so now we're at the um, pretty much the very end here, but we're first going to do um, a code that will move the camera, and that's going to be set camera rotation, and we're moving camera one, and we're going to move it by the y move um, and we're going to say divided by 16 
And these are just number numbers that I've fiddled with. Um, I'll change it around so you guys can see uh, that uh, if you want like smoother or more, um, let's see, if you want faster movement, um, I'll show you how you can mess with those numbers to uh, make it different. And that will also divide this one by 16. And we're not going to worry about the Z angle. All right. Next, what we can do is um, match the object rotation with the camera rotation. And to do that, you just do set object rotation. And we're going to be moving the player. And all we're going to say is get object angle or angle X. We want to make sure it's the X because uh, that's the axis that we're going to be rotating on. So for the player, and then we're going to say get camera angle Y. There we go. And we're going to get camera one. And then we're going to also get object angle Z. And this is going to be for the player. OK. And from there, all we're going to do is um, set the camera position at the player object position. So we're just going to do set camera position. And we're going to move camera one. And all we're going to say is get object um, x. And we're going to grab the player's x coordinate get object y also the player and then lastly we need to get object z and that's going to be the player all right and then from there basically what i want to do is just also double check again um, that the mouse is always in the center. Now we're just going to do set raw mouse position and that is again going to be 512 384 and now that should be it. So if I run the game what happened? Your float. Let me see what did I do wrong here. Oh, I did not do that. There we go. All right, there we go. So now I got movement left, right, up, down, and I can walk. So if you want to, you can increase the speed. Um, 0 0.1 is pretty slow. I'm going to do uh, 0 0.5, and then also I'm going to show you. Um, how these work. So let me bump these up to like 32 and it should be much smoother. Yeah, so that looks a lot smoother to me on my end and I can go much faster. So there you go, guys. That's going to be it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.